Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. So let's go over the huge movements we've got with the Brexit vote that was late last night. Um, been tracking it since then, but I just want to show you the wild swings that we're seeing. We've got uh, the gold going crazy right now. This is using my um, Bloomberg iPad app, and I'm uh, just looking for the... Uh, so this gold spot uh, for the U.S. is down 4.73. So today is uh, the 24th, around 105 Eastern Standard. But I just wanted to show you uh, the big moves uh, are huge. Now, if you look here at the gold spot GBP, that is up 13%. That is nuts. Um, and also we've got silver spot at 10 percent so if you're in those you're doing all right energy um the oil has i mean there's the ice brent crude that's down uh 4.7 i just want to show you the really big moves here's uh i just noticed this the ecx emission down 12.23 percent um, we've already gone through the uh, oil, sorry, uh, precious metal, gold. Agriculture seems never to move too big uh, in this type of trading. But let's get into um, the currencies here. So let me just show you one that is traditionally a very volatile move. Now, if you look at the British pound against the uh, Japanese yen, it's it's quite wild. Uh, we are looking at their eleven negative eleven fifteen, and on top of the um, Japanese and the uh, Great British Pound, it's up uh, twelve point four eight percent. I've seen as high as um, uh, sixteen percent, like like within probably a few minutes, like a two percent move late last night. It was it was pretty crazy. Other um, not other Notables, uh, uh, great British pound against the U.S. dollar has been uh, moving pretty good. Uh, let's see. So that seems to have uh, calmed down. Let me just verify that. Yeah, so the move, actually the moves is not so big, but it's still quite a bit with the U.S. dollar and, and the uh, pound uh, was doing well. And the Swiss franc was another one that was quite notable. Uh, obviously, the um, indices are not going to be doing too good, uh, specifically out of Europe. The ones that I was told that are moving huge are um, the Euro stocks. That is, I just wish this would update, the camera would update faster. That's 6% move. The Euro stocks, um, as well as uh, the DAX is down. 6.32%. Obviously, the FTSE is going to be down as well. But look at these moves coming out of Athens and Greece. Um, so that says it right there. There's a lot of um, uncertainty in uh, coming out of Greece with the euro status. Um, and let's check out some of the futures market here, see what we've got. Um, currently, the S&P is still doing a little better. It's only a 3% move down. But the big ones is definitely out of um, uh, Greece is probably the big one uh, in Athens as well as the FTSE, the stocks, and the and the DAX are getting hit kind of hard. But if you were to automate all this, I mean, you could be making a hell of a lot of money right now if you were automating trading. Um, and I'm sorry to say I'm not there uh, which I was, but um, it's quite an interesting day and I thought I'd put a video together on it. Hey everybody, so I uh, forgot to also mention uh, Bitcoin was another big mover late last night um, where there was about a 15% move. Um, I, I'm gonna assume about around uh, 3 a.m. So about here to about here that was uh, a good 10 percent drop just so if you're just trading volatility like here's another big move um 
just a lot of Bitcoin as a currency. You could make a boatload off of um, currency, uh, off of Bitcoin as well. So I just want to put this one out there as well. So the big movers were obviously um, Bitcoin, the FTSE 100, the DAX, uh, the stocks 600, um, also the uh, currencies for Japanese yen with the British pound both ways, uh, the, the Swiss franc, British pound, as well as the US dollar, and the British pound on top of golds going crazy and silver. Uh, so again, as a human, you cannot trade that way. It's not possible. But if you set up your orders um, and watched it off these volatile moves, you could probably done quite, quite, quite well with some kind of automated system and you knew what you were looking for. But those are the big moves. So I've given you um, how many, maybe 10 assets on each of at least 7 to 15% moves in a matter of hours. So I'm telling you, that, that that's pretty crazy. And I'm sorry I've, I've missed out, but I did okay in other uh, trades, but I just want to show you these uh, did quite well. If, if you are on the right side of the outcome of the Brexit later.